This is a B2 video looking at the lungs, also available to watch if you're doing the human body topic in year eight. So we have got um, what's called a pluck, and this is from a lamb. Here are the lungs, and here we can see the heart, quite a fatty heart. Lamb's quite known as quite a fatty meat, and that heart would be sitting underneath there between those lungs. This is the liver. Okay, let's kind of spread that out. That would sit under there like that. And then here we've got the trachea um, that leads down, the slight hole there, leads down into the lungs, okay, and splitting off to, into the bronchi, one bronchus going into either side of the lungs, okay. Now what we're going to do is actually just cut through this trachea to show you the cartilage and actually it's quite broken here so that'll probably be better for the next stage of what we're going to do okay so we've cut that part and we can see there we've got part of the trachea held open with these rings of cartilage which um, keep that tube nice and rigid and open okay and here if we look down into the lungs we can see there the trachea and that breaks off into the two bronchi further down just where my fingers are now so we're going to have a go at trying to inflate these lungs can't promise it's going to work but we'll give it a best shot and then we'll do a bit more dissection of the lungs Place. Stop one second. Sounds like we've got a air leak somewhere. Let's get that right down in there. Okay, let's go again. There we go. It's just a bit better. See, this lung here is starting to inflate. Unfortunately, we've got some some gaps in the lung, I think, that's not enabling us to... Yeah, we've got a bit of a slash over here in the bronchial, and we can see, feel the air escaping from there. So I'm just going to hold my hand over that, and look at that. Much, much better inflation. I found out where we've got a slight gap, and you can see the shape of those lungs as they start inflating. Completely different texture, and um, particularly if I try and show you that lung there, that's really, really keep going. Uh, really, really good inflation. Our lungs don't inflate fully on every breath, but this is showing us really quite well what the lungs look like as they're inflated. If we can just deflate that so we can see that, and that is exactly where our leak was. And it's amazing the difference, just having a, a couple of bronchioles cut there. Um, has made a massive difference. So if we just deflate that a bit, and I think we might go for another inflate now we've found where our issue lies. So if I hold that again, and we'll inflate. Brilliant, thank you. And um, we'll completely deflate, much, much reduced uh, size when deflated, okay? So we've got the um, heart sitting behind there. There's a lot of fat going around here as well. So you can see some of these fat layers here with lots of blood capillaries collecting all of those, um, that oxygen from the alveoli in the lungs. So we've got the trachea splitting off into the bronchi, branching out into the bronchioles with tiny air sacs called alveoli at the end. If we spread out all of your alveoli, they would cover a whole um, tennis court. So huge, huge surface area, very thin, only one cell thick, close to all of these blood capillaries. 
allowing for maximum diffusion, maximum efficiency. Now I'm going to cut straight through this lung so that we can look at those bronchioles that again are uh, reinforced with cartilage to keep those bronchioles open to allow really good flow of air into the lungs and then that diffusion of oxygen over into the blood. Okay, so we can see here a bronchiole with that rigid opening from the um, cartilage. Let's go a bit deeper in, see if we can get to the bronchi as it goes in. It's, it's really spongy. It is like a sponge. It's also really quite smelly. It's, it's kind of marshmallowy, actually, if you're trying to think of texture. Okay, and here you can see there's some more of those bronchioles. I'm going to try and feed in. So you might actually see the green of my glove. There we go. So I've got my finger through the trachea coming out. That's the first major bronchiole. Okay. So, have a quick cross-section through the very tough cartilage of the trachea, just so you can see those rings of cartilage there. There you go, the rings of cartilage in the trachea. So, there we go. We have had a good look at the pluck, which is the lungs the heart and the liver, including that trick here there of a lamb. I hope you found that useful, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, be sure to hit subscribe so that you can see other content. Thank you very much.